The city-owned Rosewood Lakes Golf Course has challenged golfers with its wetlands and uneven terrain since it opened back in 1991. It became the only city-owned golf course when Brookside closed to make room for an airport expansion. Many seniors moved their game and continue to get a special here. We're the locals golf course. Our niche is the, uh, the everyday guy, the guy that wants to get off work and wants to come out and play golf and not spend a fortune to do it. During this downturn in the economy, the city closed Rosewood Lakes for three months during the winter. To stay competitive, last winter management sold prepaid rounds of golf for 10 bucks. They sold more than 4,000 gift cards. We've actually increased rounds uh, in May and June uh, due to people coming out and using their gift cards. Uh, we've, used a, we've received about a third back out of the 4,300, so we still have about two-thirds out there. Bob says the city will do the gift card program again this winter with a few changes and maybe make the prepaid rounds available at other venues like Costco. Meanwhile, Bob has been working with the city on a plan that will change the course forever. If a roadway is approved by the Army Corps of Engineers, the Regional Transportation Commission will build the southeast connector between Tamani Ranch and I-80 East, right through the course. Bob sees it as a win-win. I believe it's a uh, great opportunity for the city of Reno to, number one, get a new product. Uh, there hasn't been a new golf course or a new product in the area for six or seven years. So if the uh, golf course was to add a new nine holes across the street uh, and possibly do renovations on the existing nine holes, I think the interest would spark uh, additional rounds in revenue. One proposed plan is to keep most of the back nine and move the front nine to 12 holes to the other side of Pembroke Lane, along with the driving range and clubhouse. The city already purchased 111 acres there several years ago with sewer funds for future use of affluent water. Also, um, I'd like to see this golf course become a little more uh, proactive or have a little more ability to be able to teach the youth um, right now it's a little hard for the, the juniors to play. I think if we were able to get a new uh, facility across the street, uh, you know, we could add some amenities in there that would be really good for helping the youth learn to play golf, which is our customer base for the future. The City Council has formed a subcommittee to work on negotiating with the RTC on how it will pay to move part of the 18-hole course. The Council should iron out the details by fall. If everything goes as planned, locals will have some of the same challenging course and new fairways in their future.